What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to show you guys Quicksil Bridge 2019. Now this just came out this morning and I've been a member of the Quixel family since pretty much when they announced Mega Scans. I got a day one, been using all the assets in my projects for Discovery Channel, History Channel, a lot of my virtual reality projects. And so when I saw this announcement this morning, I got real excited, wanted to share this with you guys. And I'm in no way endorsed or paid for by um, Quixel at all. This is just software that I use on a daily basis. And I wanted to share it with you guys. And so one of the biggest things with the new Quixel Bridge 2019 is let's say I'm going to my downloaded assets here. And if I click on the asset, it brings up this preview window over here. And if I click on 3D, I can actually move around my 3D scan, which is pretty cool. So before this is the thumbnail that you would see when you're inside your window here. And this is cool to actually see all around your asset. And even with the mouse wheel, you can zoom in, you can look all around, and you can even make it full screen. So if I click on this box here, now we're full screen. I can zoom in and I can even, if you look down in your bottom left, you can even look at your different LOD levels. Now your LOD levels are the different quality of your geometry. So zero would be the highest quality and five would be the lowest quality with the lowest amount of um, polygons in there. So if I click on LOD five, you can see my geometry is less here and that's for rendering out faster and so if i go to zero now we have more geometry in our set here and if i click on maps you can actually see all the maps that come along with this geometry and if you look down at the bottom like you'll see this is your displacement you have a gloss map you have your normal map etc and so that's really cool that's a really cool window that they added here that helps out a lot and then if you come down, I was talking about the LODs. If you look at your export settings, uh, no, sorry, download settings, it shows you the amount of geometry that are in each, um, each LOD. So if you're doing a scene, say you're doing a nature scene and you're gonna be close up to your rock geometry here, you wanna use LOD zero, but stuff that's way off into the fort or the background that you don't really have to worry about, you can get away with like three, four or five, and that just helps optimizing your scene for rendering. So this helps as well, showing you how much geometry is on each LOD. And so you can do the same thing with the surface. Like if I click on my soil surface, make this wide again, and you can, um, when you click on 3D, it takes a minute to load, but then you can see what it would look like on a sphere and you can rotate this around. You can zoom in a little bit closer to it, see all the detail. And again, you can look at all the maps that come with this surface. And so we have our beta, we have our cavity, we have our gloss, etc., etc. And so that's another big, a big win for Quixel there. Then if I go to one of my atlases, same thing. If I look at it in the 3D view, or actually this is a 3D model. Let me click down my plant moss. There we go. So this is an atlas. The atlas is pretty much just on a 2D plane. And so these are the maps that come up with it as well. So that's that. And then in another video, I'll show you guys something that I actually beta tested for Quixel for this. My version that I was uh, beta testing was exporting directly from Bridge in the Cinema 4D. And you can export it for using um, PBR for Cinema 4D, for Octane, and I did Redshift. And it's a it's a time saver, I'm telling you. And um, you even could do it for, you can export the Unreal. But if I click down here to Cinema 4D, and then I um, already have it installed, but you'll see a button down here that will say Install Plugin. You install it and you're ready to go. All you have to do is open up Cinema 4D click on your export and it automatically brings everything in the cinema for you you don't have to worry about texturing your different assets and everything it's all there and ready to go which helps out a lot especially if you're an artist like me that has tight deadlines all the time you just click it boom and you can design away it saves a lot of time and so that was just a quick rundown on bridge that i wanted to show you guys 
if you go to quick Soul's youtube channel they have like a 20 minute video kind of giving you the lowdown on how everything works but i just wanted to put something up on my channel to share with you guys in case you missed it so make sure you go check that out and um as always come back to the channel i'm gonna show you the live link with cinema 4d and so that's gonna be up in a few minutes and keep creating i'll see you guys next time